Welcome back guys, just got a bit of a show and tell here for you. So, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of organite laid out. Most of them are ones we made here. But um, these two, and this black pyramid, is not mine. Now I've purchased these these two online. Uh, these are Ken Rollers ones. So this is his take of organite. And, um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's good stuff, eh? Like, so he doesn't call it organite, he actually calls it scalar devices. So scalar... Zero point energy, um, chi, prana, orgone energy, it's all the same thing. Life force, it's all, you know, consciousness energy. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit on that. Ken Roller, uh, you should check out his work. Uh, he knows his stuff. This one here I purchased at a, a fair. Now, um, that supposedly has got shungite in it and um, aluminium. Now, you can see, like, there is some bits of metal in there. You can see a bit of hunk at the top, but it's got a lot of glitter in it and stuff like that. So I don't know the ratios or how much is actually in there. And I dare say the silver there, all there, that's just some sort of pigment color. So I don't think that that's actually, um, you know, very functional there. But uh, I don't really know because I didn't make it. But, yeah, I bought that pretty much before I started making all my own. So, But now these ones here are some of mine that I've made. And um, this here is my latest, it just has not been polished up yet. So uh, the black one and the latest one is more of a Pyramid of Giza. And those two there are more Nubian uh, style of pyramid. Now, moving on. Now, uh, I guess we'll do these hearts. So I've got some of these hearts here. These two here haven't been polished, but um, they come out of that heart mould there. And uh, so this one hasn't been polished, but yeah, you can see some of the stuff that we do here. And you can see it needs polishing, it needs the, uh, you know, sanded back, all that stuff there. But yeah, some of the other ones that we've done. Um, we'll move on to these pendants. Now, none of these pendants have been, uh, you know, polished up or anything either. So, yeah. You can see how rough they are. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me here, but they will come up really nice. Now, I'll just show you the difference. Well, you can see how rough that is. You know, it doesn't look very nice. But once I finish, I've got a couple here just now that are... All done you can see now look how polished that is you know the sides the back it's uh really good stuff very functional oh, they look amazing same deal with this one you know just a couple here for examples they're all ready to go they've all got the bail stuck on there and um they've got the necklace cord which is adjustable you can pull the little ends and you can adjust it what size you want and where you want to wear it and uh, yeah so that's what these ones here are all going to be these little ones now moving on We've got some other pendants here. Now these ones are slightly bigger, so, and all these, they're fresh out the mold, which is this, okay? And um, they're a little bit bigger, as if I compare them, well, I'll just compare them with these ones. You can see how they're a little bit bigger. They're about maybe a centimeter, um, just sort of longer or wider, whatever you want to do. About the same diameter, and uh, yeah. So back on these ones, they are, these ones here are fresh out of the mold, they actually are not polished up. I'll show you, so you can see there's not, not a shiny reflection there, there's a bit of like, you know, it's a bit of roughness to it. So sort of thing, you can see all that there. You know, so it's not, they're not polished, but yeah, they still look amazing. So when they do, and they're all polished up and really shiny, they'll look even better, all these. But this one here is done. So you can see how shiny that is, you can see the difference there. So this one is done, I just have not uh, put a cord on it yet to make it as a necklace. Well, it doesn't have to be a necklace. These pieces here can just uh, go under your pillow, help you sleep at night. They can go in your pocket, uh, your shirt pocket, in with your lunch bag, your little esky or something like that. Keep your food all good. And uh, then we'll move on to these discs. Now these here are charge plates. So pretty much like Ken Rollers, you can use them. You don't have to use it as a charge plate, you can just have that, um, you know, by your bedside table. Same sort of deal. But uh, this is my take on it. So this one here is all aluminium powder. So uh, that's why it looks so polished and uh, shiny like that. But yeah, you can see in there you've got a couple coils, your triskelion uh, coils. You should uh, look into that, that there's got an energy of itself, just that copper coil there and the way it's formed. It's a, it's a water em um, element symbol. And uh, they call it a triskelion or a Henneke symbol. So just that alone has uh, healing properties of itself. So very nice very polished this one's uh, all copper powders that's why it's that color and our uh, versus your aluminium now moving on to these these little um 
tower busters, I guess you can call them, because uh, that's what they go for. Now, this one here is the very first one ever I've ever made, okay? So, and um, the the metal powders in there, so you got your brass, copper, and aluminium powders all mixed together. So it's very similar, it's going to look like this. So when it's polished up, they're going to look a bit different. So it's the same combination of metals, probably in a bit different ratios. I'm not sure what I did with this one, but uh, that's the uh, very first one I did. I actually dropped that. It hasn't, you know, chipped off, but you can see it's cracked. But it's all good. This one actually stays in the fridge. <laughs> anyway, so moving on, you can see the progress of uh, what I've actually done. And this one here is actually the second one I've ever made. You can see it's a little bit different design. And, uh, yeah, this one's just brass powder, made with brass powder. So, yeah, but we'll move on because, um, now you got this one here and this one here. These ones I alternate. I normally keep one of these in my pocket at all time, no matter where I go, one's in my pocket. So, I do fancy this one a lot, a little bit more. You know, you got your selenite, you got a big clear quartz in there. You can't see it because it's so clear, but it is bang on in the middle of there. It's basically the length of between the two kyanite pieces so clear and um yeah so you got your kyanite you've got your copper coil embedded into the um the metal powders there and you got heme type yeah copper coil on the back as well and yeah this these ones here are a bit interesting because they're very layered i'll show you in a sec but you got your amethyst in there clear quartz this one you can see is embedded in there and uh yeah you can see these layers look at that Something very different, something I haven't done previously. I've done, in, what do I do, about four of these sort of sort of ones, like this one. See how they're layered like that? The sides of the big, um, yeah, something different. Um, we've got another one that's just uh, all brass, but uh, it's got a Tree of Life sticker or emblem in there like that, just to give it something to look at. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. Very functional, very pretty. Um, a decent just dense aluminium powder one there's a couple of layers there you can see there's some air bubbles in there but um can't have that it's not going to affect the way it functions it's still going to be very good extremely polished and uh yeah i've got more of these i just haven't put them all out on the table you know got this one here good stuff good couple of layers of copper powder in there with hunks of selenite in there and uh they just look amazing you know Anyway, so basically a show and tell, and uh, this here is the, the mould of one of the pyramids there, which is this one. Yeah, pretty happy with that. That's my pride and joy, just got to polish it up. And uh, still got to polish all these ones up, just not that one. Got to polish up all of these ones to make them as pendants, like this here, ready to go. And uh, yeah, the uh, quality finish that I get, it's amazing. Yeah, guys, um, so yeah, just stay tuned for future videos. If, it, if you guys want to purchase these, because they're all, they're all for sale, all of it, except for these ones and that one, because I didn't make those, but these ones here, I'm all pumping out now, and I'm making more. I've got more pendants like that, different types. Um, we'll be making more of these. I've actually just started a couple of them in there. You can see it's sort of shiny in there, so I've put down a few layers of um, uh, resin just to start with because uh, I do that so when I rub these back with sandpaper I don't cut into the stones or the the um, chakra symbols there but um, yeah I'll be making more I'll be producing a lot more I'll do more pyramids I'll do more of these I'll have more of these uh, more hearts all of it yeah but the best thing to do is probably get uh, pendants because that way you can wear it all the time you can have it out on display so people can see it or you can have it you don't have to you can have it tucked under and still get the benefits um, then you can take it off and put it under your pillow or whatever. But uh, these here are a good idea too, these uh, charge plates. <clears throat> you put a pitcher of water, sit it on it overnight, it'll structure it all and um, make it very healing and healthy for the body. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.